As each day dawns over the Delaware Valley, one thing becomes increasingly clearer. Our traffic levels are accelerating faster than our road capacity. Traffic congestion is more than just a nuisance. It's one of the leading problems facing our region today. It snarls our commute, fouls our air, threatens our safety, curbs freight deliveries, and drives our quality of life down. And it could get worse, unless, unless we find ways to make better use of our existing highway and transit infrastructure. The answer lies in using technology to steer traffic in the right direction. This is where the information highway truly hits the road. In urban areas across America, advanced computer and communication networks are revolutionizing the way we monitor and manage traffic. The Delaware Valley is no exception. Intelligent Transportation Systems, or ITS for short, are wiring our roadways and transit lines in much the same way as we wired the workplace for better efficiency and productivity. ITS tracks the pulse of traffic with computers, closed circuit TV, global positioning systems, and a host of other advanced technologies. It can detect accidents or other problems, speed emergency response and recovery, clear lanes and reroute traffic around bottlenecks, smooth out peak traffic flow, and transmit up-to-the-minute travel information to the public. ITS depends on an intricate network of partnerships. Everybody has to be in the loop, from state and regional transportation agencies, local police and fire departments, to private companies which funnel information to the public. Sharing information is a large part of what makes ITS work. Armed with accurate and timely information about road conditions, many travelers either change routes or change their time of departure to avoid congestion and delays. Traffic is spread out, gridlock relieved, and time saved. Other U.S. studies show that most traffic congestion is caused by accidents, disabled vehicles, and other incidents. Americans waste four and a half billion hours in these jams each year. ITS technology gives transportation authorities an immediate heads up when and where incidents take place. Sensors along roadways detect slowdowns. TV cameras give traffic control operators a bird's eye view of the problem so they can dispatch the appropriate emergency team, take steps to avert more traffic tie-ups, and alert travelers, all within moments of the occurrence. A fully integrated ITS system can improve traffic flow for autos and trucks, enhanced transit performance, reduce accidents and fatalities, lower emissions and fuel costs, and save commuters time and money. All of which contributes to the economic vitality of our region. An efficient transportation system expedites freight shipments for just-in-time deliveries and entices companies to relocate or stay here. ITS is a high priority here, now, and for the future of the greater Delaware Valley. Good afternoon, Carl Fenda, Philly. How are you doing? At the heart of our ITS system are traffic operations centers, like this one at PennDOT, which monitor the poles of traffic minute by minute. And we still have a comment about our bridge closed in both directions. Heavy traffic, volume, and construction. Nine different agencies have traffic operation centers in our region, each one working with a separate database, each one managing the arteries and services under its jurisdiction. Together, these centers oversee some 500 miles of roadways and transit lines, about 15% of the major arteries in the Delaware Valley. These are the command and control centers for closed circuit TV networks and a number of other ITS capabilities. Controllers adjust signal timing along heavily traveled routes to move traffic more efficiently and prevent bottlenecks at intersections. Travelers are kept up to speed through highway advisory radio broadcasts, warnings posted en route, 
and a host of private travel information providers. All right, over to John Valerio. Any trouble spots out there, John? Not really, not on the major highways, Monica. Major highways in real good shape. Take a look at I-95 at Bridge Street. Public-private partnerships, traffic, the like this live video here, feed between we'll PennDOT, Jersey, NJDOT, right right smart route systems, and local broadcasters maximize Jefferson access to travel down. information. And I'm John Valerio for Channel 6 Action News. Rick, back to you. For tracking bus and rail operations, SEPTA, PATCO, and New Jersey Transit each have their own control centers. Monitoring conditions on the lines, rerouting buses and trains as needed, and informing riders of delays or other problems. Other ITS components give emergency and transit vehicles the ability to preempt traffic signals. SEPTA and the City of Philadelphia are using this feature to improve safety and to speed trolley service in West Philadelphia. Yet another ITS component that's been very successful in our region is electronic toll collection. More than half the commuters on the bridges and on the Pennsylvania Turnpike use EasyPass. It has increased toll plaza capacity by 2 to 300 percent. When you put all of these components together, you can see that the Delaware Valley is well on the road to the real electronic highway. But at the moment, it's a spaghetti junction of different systems and public-private partnerships. As our system expands, about 40 agencies and hundreds of local municipalities will be involved. Cooperation is critical. Communication, essential. That's why the Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission is spearheading a coalition of ITS stakeholders in our region. The DVRPC has developed a framework for the future to share information and coordinate responses. It's called PRIMUS, which stands for Philadelphia Regional Integrated Multimodal Information Sharing. PRIMUS is a staged approach to a completely wired ITS system, which should be fully in place after 2005. The final phase will link each agency and operations center directly. Individual databases will be merged into one regional one. A graphical user interface will display congestion levels, incident information, and live video feeds from all over the region, all in real time. As we work toward a fully integrated, fully implemented ITS system in the greater Philadelphia area, many new interagency and public-private partnerships must be formed. Jurisdictional boundaries must be crossed. Public policymakers must create an environment of cooperation among their staffs. Then, and only then, will we be able to fully realize the benefits of ITS. Faster responses to incidents, fewer accidents, lower emissions, and travel time savings. Then, and only then, will we be able to say, our information highway has truly hit the road.